All right, guys. Um, this is just a very quick review. The new toys that I got is uh, Harbor Frey, Cruise and Baker, um, Alice uh, spray paint system. Um, I just use it to uh, finish painting the house, and that's the last part. Um, we'll let you know and to share my experience with you. Um, it overall works great. Works great. You know the. Seriously, I pay 169 when they're on sale with tax 180 something out of the door uh, with the spare and uh, a spray gun with it. So everything works well. Seriously, the only only thing that you know you probably need to pay attention is the spray gun itself. Let me go to it. So that's the spray gun that um, came with the system. It is uh, shipped with, um, I don't know if you can see, it's actually it's, uh, 515 tip. I did change it to um, aftermarket 413 tip because the 515 for me, um, when I start using it, I think the, the spray volume is just too fast. Um, so using a, a smaller 413 actually, uh, I got this tip from one of the reviewers from the Harbor Frey site, and it works well. I do recommend that you should get one of the four and three uh, when you're spray, just playing the, um, you know, regular paint, exterior paint. So, uh, what I want to talk about today, actually, mainly is the, this spray gun. This spray gun is actually very similar to one of I think it's the Greco G2 or G3. Um, the thing that I want to complain about, actually, after I spraying it, I was trying to clean it. And I have a hard time to uh, get this filter out. And to get it out, actually, well, I can do this for you guys. I can, you know, after losing it, you can just easily spin this handle out, the filter is out, and you can actually replace and clean this thing real good. Uh, but this bowl here take a lot of force to remove it. The handle rod right with the filter inside also take a lot of force to do it. I ended up have to use uh, a pipe wrench, use a piece of clothes, wrap around the gun head here, hold it, and then use a 12 inch wrench to just force it open. I don't know why they have to uh, tighten it so hard. Um, I used a great coat gun before, actually. Um, it's pretty simple. Maybe you have something to do with the thread. I don't know. I got to go, go look it up. But, you know, construction-wise, exactly like this. And you do need to clean it after you're using the gun. And hopefully this tip will help you. The other thing I do is uh, I did construct it, a little um, makeshift uh, cart so I can put a five five gallon bucket in the back and uh, I can put the spare in the front use a smudgy cord to uh, to hold it and um, you know when you're painting I got this 20 inch uh, extension for a spray gun it works as well I think you know it saved me a lot of time and energy I don't need to climb up the ladder ups and down with this so that's another tip for you if you're looking to uh, DIY to use, you know paint your house by yourself it, this is a good investment, by the way. You know, for 180, it's only about 20 dollar, 30 dollar more than uh, I rented a, 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 a compatible sp uh, sprayer from you know Home Depot or Lowe's or all the big box stores. And then I can use it. You know, the next project I'm going to use is to spray paint my shed. So stay tuned. I'll show you more. Just a few more close up on the parts. So. Um, you can reference on how this assembled. Now that I got it open, it's actually much simple. But uh, believe it or not, you know, before I was just using a small wrench, so I just couldn't get this thing out. Let's go to here. Let's go to here. 